Yo, so in this video I'm going to be creating the crazy world of GTA 6 with LEGO. So the official trailer for the game dropped earlier this week, and this was my reaction watching it. So after that I felt like I just had to grab my LEGO bricks and put them together to recreate some of the things that GTA 6 will bring us. And I also checked in a few iconic things that we all did while playing past GTA games. Like seeing if it's possible to stop a moving train. But first we need to make some playable characters. So I dug for my part bin and came up with the minifigs from the game. Lucia and Jason. Let's also give them some crime accessories like tools and guns. I didn't have any plain white tank tops I could use so I guess Jason will just be a lifeguard as a side hustle whenever he's not busy robbing shops. Then there's me. I'll be doing the stunts for this video. Alright so to start off, we can run into the middle of the road and in true GTA fashion, politely ask a random person for the car. Nice, now that we have a new whip, we can fully explore the world. Oh wait, it seems like someone called the police. And we got a wanted star already, which means the police will start chasing us. But don't worry, because I quickly built this car garage. Oh no, I accidentally just ripped my background. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, hello mate. In which we can put our car on the ramp and start making modifications to it. We can use this blueprint section and choose what we want to change, like swapping out the front bumper to another one. And we can also slap a massive rear spoiler on it. Hey, nice! Now the police will no longer recognize us. And we've actually upgraded the handling of a car at the same time. But then before we leave, we can also upgrade the engine to make the whip even faster. Yeah, I don't think any police car is gonna catch us now. So another thing we can do in GTA 6 is to pick up an airboat and head to the grasslands region where we can glide over the terrain and go as fast as we can. Then get chased by an angry local because we might have accidentally run over his beer. I don't think he's gonna catch us, but be careful not to tip over, because if we do, there might be a surprise waiting for us within the wet grass. Oops, too late. But don't worry, because the animal control unit got here just in time. Now they can take care of this big reptile. See you later, alligator. Bruh. Well, good thing there isn't any more of these creatures around. Yeah, and if that ever happens, we'll just simply respawn in the nearest hospital. Hmm, that's a nice looking helicopter on the roof. I think we need to get it. Hey yo, is that the same crazy guy that was chasing us? I don't think he recognized us, but why is he just staring at me? And why is there just a random clown standing there? This is weird, let's keep going up. Yeah, I think this place is just full of crazy people. Hey yo, this is the MRI room. Let's see if we can get a scan of our body. Bro, why is my brain so small? What the heck? Oh no, I think there's a doctor about to enter the room. Let's quickly get out of here. All right, let's try this bad boy out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I don't even know how to fly helicopters. And I've got two wanted stars now, which means the police is even more angry. And they'll try even harder to get to us. But we're the ones with the helicopter, so we should be fine. And while our minifig escapes the police, I went ahead and bought this Lego train set. And after building for around two and a half hours, we ended up with this big train yard with a railway that goes all the way around. And once we slap some batteries into it to power it, we can control the train with the phone and make it go really fast. It looks like there was a crash in Lego City. Okay, let's put that back on. So one thing that we can do in GTA is to climb on top of a moving train. You have to get the timing just right, but once we're on it, we can run around the top while the train is moving and jump between the carriages. So that's pretty fun. But now is the time to see if we can stop a moving train, which is something that most of us probably tried doing at least once in GTA 5. So I bought even more train tracks and placed them spanning across the floor so the train can go as fast as possible. Okay, so let's just see what happens if we put a minifig on the tracks. Yeah, so unless you're Spider-Man, you shouldn't try to stop a moving train. Another way of trying to stop it though is to line up some cars right in front of it. Okay, let's give this a go. Yeah, the train is definitely stronger than I thought, but I wonder if we can stop it even faster. So next I built this wall of bricks to see if that would stop the train. Surely this will work even better now. That actually worked so well. But GTA 6 also lets us open up shipping containers and steal whatever is inside. So let's grab this small crane thingy and take a container off the train car, then take out the crate from the inside and break into it using a crowbar from our inventory. Well, well, looks like we found some dollar dollar. Yo, we're rich now. Which means that just like in GTA, we can buy some property. Hey guys, do you want to see me do a magic trick? Oh. Hello? Wait, what? There's literally nobody there. Anyway, wait, how did this set just actually magically build itself? So I got this little house that we can use as our home base now. It comes with the greenhouse, a toilet, a kitchen where we can cook up some tasty food and drink milk from the fridge. Yo guys, I wonder what's in these drawers. All right, so we've got a cold glizzy and then we've got, ooh, a chocolate ice cream. Then upstairs we've got a gaming area where we can play Lego Fortnite and we also have a sleeping area where we can save the game every time we use the bed. So yeah, this entire house is our safe zone now, which also means that we can invite the main characters over and start making plans for our next heist. I know it looks like a kid's drawing, but it's not. And it actually also came with an electric car. Yeah, this is boring. Let's get something more exciting. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. <laughs> That's a bit better. All right, we've still got money to spend. Let's flex on everyone else and buy this yacht. Ah, this is the life. Wait, what is that a police boat? And why are they slowly moving towards us? 
Yo, what? I didn't even do anything. Well, this is GTA police logic. Great, now we're in the prison. And the toilet is literally right next to our bed. Well, at least we have some weights that we can lift, I guess. And just like in GTA, we can actually switch between characters. So now we can play as Lucia and Jason and break into the prison. We can use this old bin truck to pull this off. So Lucia is gonna distract the guards with some fresh donuts. Then while the guards aren't looking, I'm gonna sneak through the station and climb into a bin. Then after checking their fake driving license, the guard is gonna open the gate and someone is gonna bring out the bin while I'm still inside it. That's when Jason is gonna pick it up and load it into the back of the truck. Then we can simply drive off and enjoy the freedom once again. Ugh, is that a dead fish in here? GTA is also known for having big cities and shops where you can buy stuff scattered throughout the game map. So to make this in Lego, I got this big downtown set and it's actually got like 21 bags of Lego pieces. That's so many bags that I wanted to see if I can take a bath with all of them. And it's honestly quite comfy for something that's made out of Lego. But it's time to get out and actually build this thing. So yeah, next let's drive to downtown and park up the old truck somewhere because now we need to destroy it to get rid of evidence. This should do the trick. Nice, now we can go into one of the high street shops and look for some new drip to buy. And just like in the game, we can select from multiple outfits. Yo, that's kind of fire. I think we should get a haircut as well. Luckily, there's a barber right across the street. Hmm, what haircut should we go for? That's perfect. Hey, yo, by the way, I think I recognize that alligator upstairs. Let's get out of here before you can smell us. Our hunger bar dropped as well, so we can get a fresh pizza and eat it in the park. This city is a bit too quiet. So let's buy the penthouse on the top floor and we can throw a massive party. Yo, this is lit. Bro, that guy literally just jumped off the building while holding some balloons. Bruh. He really thought he could fly. Oh, and now someone is robbing a shop. And someone's car is getting broken into. This is pretty much how chaotic GTA downtown actually is. Okay, so another thing you can do in GTA is to go to an airport, then jump over the fence. That will give us three wanted stars, which means that the police helicopter will be called in and it will circle around you so you can't hide but i made sure to cop this lego plane set and build it all up to make it possible for our minifig to escape the police so let's quickly hijack one of these little airport cars and use the stairs on the back of them to climb inside of a massive plane yeah i don't think they're aware what's happening right now but we can get in the pilot seat and start flying this beast why did the police car think it could stop a big plane bro is actually dumb but i think flying planes was one of my favorite things to do in gta now we just need to lose the cops because they are really eager to arrest us and if you get bored of flying you can jump out of the plane with your parachute equipped so skydiving is one of the extra things you can do in the game. But here's even more random things that everyone does when playing GTA. One of them is pretending you're an NPC and properly drive on the road, following all the rules, like waiting in traffic and at red lights. But this gets boring pretty fast, so we can go back to normal GTA driving. Then we can go to a car wash if we want to get our car nice and shiny after recklessly driving it. Cheers for washing my car, mate. Another thing we can do is to visit ammunition, to buy a bulletproof vest and some guns. Then we can shoot at random things like some bottles or people's tires when they drive past. And you can challenge yourself to see what is the highest wanted level you can get. We can also get some scuba gear and go explore the deep ocean. There might be hidden treasures that we can find, or take pictures of the wildlife, like some turtles or crabs. Hey, yo, is that a swordfish? Oh, good thing we have a spare sword in our inventory in case it tries to attack us. Then we can try swimming with some sharks. Just make sure they're not hungry because they might think you're a snack. We can also go to the local beach and just chill. Maybe have some ice cream, or just watch the local NPCs fight. There's also some jet skis that we can take out and see how fast we can go without crashing, or see how far onto the land you can get from the sea. We can also grab a bike and go to the local skate park and pull some sick stunts. Or pick up a motorbike and explore the GTA map for random random stunts. Whoa! Some GTA characters can also have pets, so we can adopt a new puppy that we can play with by throwing a ball, and it will bring it back to us. Or we can also train it to defend us from other players. That's a good boy. But yeah, I'm super excited to play GTA 6 when it finally comes out in 2025. Let me know what your favorite thing about GTA is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.